Falls Lake. Thanks, Joey. Yeah. But we, we decided we're gonna go to Fukuoka, which is like four hours away. And we forced Yasu to come with us, so we can go check out uh, one of the shops that I've been trying to visit for the longest time. And uh, I didn't realize it was that far away. So we'll see how it goes. How does it feel, Yasu? Spend all kinds of money to get on this train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have rail passes, so our ride is free, but yes, we spent $300 to get on this train ride. To go to a different city, a completely different region. Same region? Kyushu? Yeah, different region for like three hours and then come back in time for dinner, so see how it goes. <laughs> What is that? Oh, sort of fried duck or some shit? Yeah. Fried dick. <laughs> fried dick, old rice. Plum rice. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. Big gourmet lunch. Yeah, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? <laughs> Dude, The doors on the left side will be Thank you. Rasa. <laughs> $3. Well, everybody else in this train is smugged. You mentioned only the two on Johnny Holiday. Yeah. They're like, we can't give them all the sandwiches. That's 12 sandwiches. <laughs> you, you need to be traditional to Kobe. <laughs> A buffet of things that you don't really want to eat that much. It's probably super good, honestly. Um, I don't think so. You're just being overwhelmingly positive for a meal. <laughs> Egg? Some sort of meat? A hot dog? <laughs> Pork? Yeah. Eraser? Potato? Potato? Shrimp? That's a bowl? That's a fish ball. Really? Oh, is that a potato? <laughs> Carrots and shit? Piece of leftover fish? No, thank you. Oh, this is a uh, turkey stuffing. <laughs> No, I think the fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, baby balls. <laughs> Prompt. <laughs> Salad. Oh, I think you guys don't want all your. He doesn't want the turkey stuffing. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, it's turkey stuffing. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, after a four hour whatever train ride, we're here. The Eminem Honda. <laughs> Hello. yellow Integra that we all saw in line back then that we all assumed was a Jay's car. It was actually an MM car. And, uh, well, let's just say it's seen better days. It still has most of the aero on it. But the engine's gone. Things are all... I mean... Wow.
Yep. Still has the flares and everything that we all remember from before, but like I said, it's been retired, so to speak. These are on the beat right here. The hyper wide body Integra with the Mugen bumper on it. Everything's really tight here, so I'll try to get as much of it as I can. This is their wide body FD2. I've seen the most hyper wide body DC5 Integra Type R. So was that was 2000, that was at TAS a couple years ago. Were you there that trip? I think so. In the option tuning hall? I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. CL7. So sad to see that Integra like that. The CPU 35s on it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they have one extra one. Yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe. Right? I only need one. This is our Eminem Honda Hyper Wide Body Beat. Hey, this thing has SSRs on it. <laughs> Nice taste of music. Yeah. Looks like a nice shot. 
Mm-hmm. Got a lot of stuff, man. There's like an EP3 in here for some reason. Start right up. I think they start right up. I'm gonna give it a yes. Is because they're new? That one starts up. Yeah, that one probably looks like it's very current. These two look like they're very current, so. <laughs> no, I guess not. Yeah, we should have put money on it. Yeah, we really should have. <laughs> They start right up. I think they start right up. I'm gonna give it a yes. Is this because they're new? That one starts up. Yeah, that one probably looks like it's very current. These two look like they're very current, so. So they made all the room room sounds and moved it and started and drove it around, so. <laughs> With Toyota ITVs and yeah, Haltech. Is it? Mm hmm. So, to the to the to the to the to the to the Oh man, that FD2 sounds super nice. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounded crazy. Yeah, the engine is just wild, bro. <laughs> Hyper wide body FD2 AP's on there. Let's see how deep the wheel is. I need a big ass spacer. I like how on the DC5 also there's just chunks of tire left over. Track. To drive these cars. This is the rear. Also really wide. This 
one is more tame compared to the DC5. It's got full interior still. Carl and RSGs. It's also on Haltech. Nice. Yeah, this one's also on Haltech. Mm hmm. They love their Haltechs. That's how you know they're like a company that's been around forever. Yeah, this one doesn't have hood pins, right? You have the hood? Or if there's anything under there. I don't even know if there's anything under there. Oh wow. What are the similar setup? Yep, also Toda's. Probably K20, K24 setup, right? Wow, look at this. You need uh, thing of a bub. Keeps it falling off. Yeah. <laughs> They've had issues. I'm very safe to start, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a novel idea. Oh wow, there's ducting too. I think that runs. Where does it run from? This car's still got AC. Yeah, it has full interior and everything. Yeah. The total street car, which is. Same? No, this is a K20. Oh, okay. K20R. No, no, no. K20A. K20 okay. Okay. Cool, thanks. Close it? Yeah, I'm good. So, we're just playing car Tetris now because there's so many cars at this facility that we have to move them around just so I can get photos of them. And as it turns out, this legendary Integra that people have often posted photos of and have circulated for years and years and years. Well, this car is now just a bare shell because the owner of this car owned the car since it was brand new and they built it and they raced it and they pretty much used it for everything it was capable of and then the body got old. So they moved the engine and everything over to this white one that I'm going to show you guys right now once we move it forward. And it has the M&M Hyper Wide Body Kit on it. And the owner of this car not only owns that yellow one, but he also owns this DC5. So the guy definitely hasn't just let cars rot. He's mainly upgraded his arsenal of vehicles. So that's pretty cool. I dig it. The guy's kind of a diehard, you know, he's just one of their customers. He just leaves his car here. So it's nice that we can get a look at them and figure out what the hell happened to these cars after all these years. Like the yellow Integra, man. Like, such a famous car online before the internet even really got big with Hondas being posted online and stuff. So it's great to see, even though the cars are like riding now, that everything went to a good home and the guy's still into cars. So I dig it. These cars, I'm sure, have been moved around in quite some time, so we're finally going to move them out for the first time and get a good look at them. Okay, it's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. It has weds in the back. Here is all still there, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. They said they're gonna, they're probably gonna end up swapping over all like bolt cases and stuff in that car as well. Oh, it's all bolted. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think they'll punch all kinds of holes in that one too. So, oh, the other type F's are in there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> good look though with the butts. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it has the tip type F's on a normal, I'm sure, so. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so cool. Wow. Looks like everything has APs on it. Some stuff will pull into here too, very mint. So it has a full C-West kit, non-wide body. <laughs> yeah, the Type R. Look at his like carbon, like hydro, whatever stuff. Bezel, look at the bezel in the steering column. <laughs> What kind of seat is this? It looks like a Zeta 2. Unmarked? Yeah, maybe it's been real closer or it's big. It has broad rails, so, or brid rails. So. Also interesting that the hood is not vented at all. So. <laughs> Watch the waterfall. Yeah, we can just see how long this car's been sitting. <laughs> Five dollars if you drink that water. Five bucks? Yeah, five hundred yen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you get an air box? Apparently, this engine was in the other one. Uh huh. B eighteen C. Oh, the oil cap is also strapped down. That's like yeah. their thing. You don't want it falling off, I guess. Once you buy an M and M oil cap, you don't want it falling off into the engine. So. <laughs> it happens though. Better I remember once uh, Matt Rojana's cap came off. S thousand. Mm-hmm. That was kind of fucking good. When I had my Camry, mm -hmm. <laughs> I changed the spark plugs, but one of them wasn't tight enough. Uh huh. And then I, was, the roof. I was driving home from work one day, yeah, and it like pushed the fucking spark plug wire up so hard uh -huh. that it dented my hood. Yeah. It's amazing, dude. Yeah, because think about it. It's like there's like 140 psi in there, minimum, pushing mm -hmm. it up. Especially on a camera, he's making all that power, dude. You know did, it, did, it, did it rip out your threads too? Oh uh, yeah, it fucked it up pretty uh, bad. They had to get one of those. What do you call those things? Time insert helicoil. Yeah, helicoils. Yeah, it was great. He did it on the on the on the block. Didn't vacuum it out when you drill it. Whatever. I swapped the engine out later, anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> I did it the right way. I'm sure. I don't remember. It was uh, very many years ago. It was like like good. 20 years ago, dude. Car Tetris. The things we have to do to get these photos and this video stuff, you know? Just trying to show you guys shit you ain't seen before. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Well, we're stumbling around inside their engine building room and inside the shop discovered that they had this S2000 under the plastic covers, so the Yasu's praying to it. Yeah, Yasu loves going on all fours for Stop S2000s. <laughs> full flat. Oh yeah, full yeah. flat under panel? Yeah, under tray. Hmm. It's a little dirty, but whatever, you know, unexpected. We literally told them that we were going to visit like, uh, like 9 p.m. last night, yeah. so. They were not prepared. This is probably like one of the few, I mean, we've seen a couple of M&M kits in the US already, but not the DC, I mean, the DC5 one, I think I've seen one of, and then. Is that blue one, the blue wrap, right? Uh, oh yeah. And there's a yellow one too. Oh really? I saw it at Ibok, yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I give you one? Uh, you, you know, the ICBs? Yeah. yeah one. Oh, yeah. 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 I like how they run APs on everything. Great. Inside earlier, now you can get a better look at it outside. 
Oh, this one has endless brakes on it. SSR, look like SP3Rs. Things are so tiny inside. TVs here. Yeah. Also, Toda. Here's a bit like that. How about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? I love their ITVs with Haltech here. It's great. So, Fukuoka is known for their ramen, their tonkotsu ramen. And so, after hanging out at M&M, we definitely gotta try the ramen before we head back on the train and get back to Osaka. So, let's see how this stuff is. <laughs> Do you need to stop? No, you gotta take a picture of her first. Oh, oh shit. That's his oh, American style. Okay. <laughs>